Episode 47. Oh, my God. Down in the basement, dude. Wow. Midday. I know. This is an afternoon cast. Yep. Just like the old days, dude. I love it. No I love guests. Nobody. No dude. guests this week. Just afternoon casting. Like it should be. Exactly like it should be. But we do like guests, too. Guests are good. But as it fucking should be. Yeah. Wild fucking week, dude. What happened? Well... As you just heard, I got I literally before we sat down to record this, I got a very important medical call um, from my urgent care specialist, from my teams of medical professionals waiting me at urgent care. They, uh, <laughs> my my dick rash cleared up. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a sitcom. I could over it because we're down here and it's very quiet in our studio and uh, my basement bedroom and. Uh, I could overhear what the lady was saying. The lady from Urgent Care, I could hear like, your rash? How's your rash? <laughs> I was like, geez, dude, what rash? And of course, Matt points to his dick and is like, my dick rash. He doesn't care. <laughs> I'd be clear. so embarrassed, dude, if I had a dude, dick rash. That trip alone. So I I used to go to one Urgent Care that was on City Line Ave. That's, it's fuck, it sucks. It's the shittiest fucking building. I think I took you there when you cut your hand. That's where I cut my hand. So yeah. that's, that's where I learned about that place. So I started going there. And I'm like, this place. I go in there, and there's I just rushed you to the urgent care <laughs> when you cut your hand, <laughs> dude. That place, and then they didn't do anything for me. They just wrapped it up and were like it's too deep and charged me eighty bucks. And I was like, the place isn't bad. I should start going there for all my stuff. And then so I go in there. It's just four black Muslim ladies chilling there at the desk. Oh my god, dude. So I roll in, and they, I was like, they just look at me like I was a psycho. And I was like, uh, can I make an appointment? And they're like. We're not seeing patients today. We're remodeling. Of like, course. Put up a fucking sign. Of Why? course, dude. Oh, dude. It was no, insane. No, they were just... They were protesting. You think they are taking a knee on me? I think they kneeled you. Oh, dude. No. They definitely kneeled you, dude. They wouldn't. <laughs> there wouldn't be four people at the desk. That's what I'm saying. If they were like, no... But um, they did have spackle buckets, so like maybe... They just had like... If those four people could re- be replaced by a sign... That that's just what I'm says saying. Closed. I don't know if they're doing paperwork or what. No, that's I why think I, they're eliminating. You think they took a fucking knee. I think they need you. Well, dude. So here's the thing. So I go. I was like. So I was like. Shit. I'm like. Well, I guess I'll, I'll just. I'll go somewhere else. And they're like. Well, you got to go all the way up to Willow Grove. And I'm like. There's definitely an urgent care closer. How than far fucking is that? Willow Grove's like 35 minutes away. <laughs> I'm like, there's a closer one than that. So I Google it. There's one two minutes behind it. So I go to this other one. Everything's brand new. It looks all nice. The lady come. You know, all it's all nice in there. Uh, are there what are the receptionists? Hot Latina. Oh, what an upgrade. So I'm like, hell yeah, dude. What an upgrade. So, yep, I roll in there. She's being cool. And it's funny, he's like, what are you here today for? And I'm like, a rash. And they're kind of like, I could see them looking at me like, I don't see any fucking rash. And I'm like, come on, bro. Like, stop oh, checking me out. So damn. I roll in and um, I get a, uh, it's like this big black dude takes me to the back. And I'm like, fuck, this big black guy's going to look at you? my dong. What? You've done that before, haven't no, you? Not like yeah, that. I think you have, dude. I don't know if this was an urgent care, dude. I think it was another rub and tug, dude. I just went to a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, this fucking this like big black dude takes me to the yep. back and I'm like sitting there like I gotta show my dick to a big black guy, dude. You should have walked in front furious. of him and yelled dead man walking. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, it's just what they yelled, death row. <laughs> Looked like you were the guard in Green Mile. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting there like I can't believe I was like this is it was an that was a weird thing to do I've never been in that position like I've showed like you showed the guy your dick I didn't have to, thank God dude so I was sweating it I'm like this guy's gonna see my fucking I'm gonna j- show dong to a fucking stout black man I'm like he's gonna fucking Ooh. laugh I just had sex that morning too so I had like real Ooh. shriveled up fucking weenus dude it was horrible Ooh. so I'm like I go back there a nurse comes back like a nurse practitioner. Oh, by the, way, the guy was telling me about how the other place is going to get shut down because they have like t- he's on like some board or whatever, and they're gonna they're like we're gonna shut it down. But the nurse practitioner comes in. She's like, I had to tell the guy too. He's like, "Where's the rash?" And I was like, uh, "My my penis." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Oh man." I was like, "Sorry, dude. I should have said dick. I just I didn't know what to say." And he was just like, "It's fine, man." <laughs> <He's> like, <"Yeah." laughs> no, he's like, "No, you were right, penis." <laughs> no, he penis was he was, literally, he was literally like, "Yeah, man, that was kind of weird." And I was like, "Yeah, I know, dude." He's I was like, "I don't it's know." It's on my penis. I was like, yeah, it's, "It's on my penis." <laughs> Are you Brandon Crick? Yeah. It's actually on my penis. I was getting ready to see my little white dick. I was like, it's uh, on my penis. Please. My tiny penis. <laughs> my tiny pink penis has so a rash. this lady comes in, pure fucking workhorse, dude, just comes in and she's like, what's going on? She's like, drop trousers. Literally, she's like, what's, what she goes, what's going on? I was like, I got a fucking rash. It's, you know, it's on my... Ew, dude. What did it look like? 
It's just like red inflamed circular rashes. It's fucking oh. ringworm, bro. But it was like it, it was because it kept going away and coming back because I put the cream on. Then I'd inflame it and whatever, and it was just it just kept coming. So you're supposed to put the cream on for like a month, even after it goes this away. This is all from your fucking dick wax, dude. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Definitely, you rub no, the oil. No, I, I asked. Well, originally I blamed it. I blamed it on Brittany to the nurse. I'm like, you think like my girlfriend? I could have got it from like a yeast infection from her, and they were like, Nah, dude, that doesn't happen. I'm like, I feel kind of bad for blaming that on her for the last three months. So I was like, All right. <laughs> <laughs> just I was like, This clearly comes from you. Angry at her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So then she comes in and she's like, yeah, well, it's funny because I didn't see a rash on you anywhere else. I was wondering where it was. And I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm like, this, fuck, this fucking sucks. So then she's like, all right, we'll be back. So I start fucking fluffing house, dude. I started fucking just jolting yeah, it up yeah, a little yeah. bit. So the black dude comes back in. I'm like, fuck, the black guy saved my dick. And then she comes in too. And I'm like, fuck. So then like, she's like, come here. And I turned around. Like the black guy, the black dude stood behind me and just Shao Kahn the whole thing. Damn. He just stood over me while I showed my dick to the lady like my butt was out. And Damn. I showed her my dick. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, yep, yeah, it's ringworm. Here's a cream. But it was, you know, I was in and out real quick and they both kind of just laughed at me. But I took an STD screening while I was there. I was like, let's just do it. Just, you know, yeah, I've never taken one before. Course. Let's see. Dude. How'd so they that, do it? So pissed in a cup. Okay. I just pissed in a cup. And then the whole time, like after I pissed in the cup first. The whole time, like, the door would be open. I'd see that. I'd just watch that black guy's face. I thought they did it instantly. Yeah. So I thought he, like, knew, like, every facial mark people made. I'm like, I got <laughs> fucking AIDS, dude. He's coming back. He's trying to break the news. I was like, fuck. So then, like, she just called. The lady just called before we started. Told me I'm clear. So party's yeah, on. Congrats, dick rash man. is gone. Dick rash. You Don't have clean AIDS. Clean bill of dick. Woo, baby. The dick is loose. You got yeah. a loose hog right now. I know. I got a hog's fucking clean as a whistle right now, dude. I, uh, that's a good call to get. That's a nervous fucking call. Yeah. See, the results are tester, and I was like, oh, God. I've had that. I've got, I got the STD test. It's good. It it's nice. Now it is. I mean, it's nice going into it when your dick's fine. You know you don't fucking... True. Well, I mean, if I had rashes I'd all rash over it, dick, I'd be dude. like, all right. I had a rash on my dick, and I also had... I bet a couple people call me up and be like, yo, you might have herpes. And I'm like, fuck. And I'd be like, I don't have any herpes. They're like, well... That's the test for herpes. Yeah. Do you have herpes? <laughs> yeah, Is that what they said to you? No, no. I'm like they, I've I've had multiple people from my past. No, no, call no. Me. I mean, did the doctors no. say anything about herpes? No, they were just like pissing this cup. And we'll tell you if you have anything. So. I feel like when I got I, one time, I got a test where the maybe it was just a question before the test. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's definitely what it was in hindsight. But yeah. this whole time, I thought that's how they tested for herpes. Do you have herpes? They, like, she was like, well, you notice any herpes on your dick? <laughs> and I was like, no. And she was like, all right, you don't have herpes. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. But yeah, yeah. I've, had, I've had people call me. There was one time I, I should have had chlamydia that I just didn't have it. I went and got tested for it, and they are like, no, you don't have it. I'm like, that's impossible. I've been having sex with someone who told me I have chlamydia, and they are like, oh, God. I just didn't get it. And then one girl called me and was like a while back. And was like, yeah, I hate to tell you, but like, you might have herpes. There was you and some other guy I was seeing. Oh my god! And I was like, well, we'll just I'll check my dong out for a while. That's why I fucking wax it, dude. I'm fucking I'm I'm covering that thing up. <laughs> Things been through battle, dude. <laughs> You're like a cut man yeah. in boxing, rubbing Vaseline all over this battered dick. <laughs> my war torn. Just dog. hang in there, man. One more round. Just clinch, clinch if you have to. <laughs> so yeah, so it was funny too when. They were like, because it was really red and nasty looking. And I was like, well, it's just inflamed. I was like, I didn't, I'd got up at like 5.30. So I was, they were like, well, what's, like, what's the story with it right now? I was like, well, I had sex this morning. And it was like 9 o'clock. And they were just looking at me like, yo, bro, come on, Damn, dude. dude. That's sick. <laughs> I didn't realize how early it was. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> but I think they're kind of looking at me like, you're so fucking gay, dude. Like, oh, it's sex this morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. They are probably like, yeah, sure you did. <laughs> sure you did penis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure you did sure. guy who says penis. Well, they penis. kind of looked at me like, but the rash was nasty. And they are like, dude, who fucked you with this Ew. thing? And I was like, yeah, yeah, come on, boys. Ew. I was like, I do use condoms with this rash, though. And they were like, yeah, you fucking should. <laughs> you got a fucking Mad Max dick, dude. You got a post-apocalyptic rashed up dick. My dick's the undead, dude. It's a white walker. Oh. Ooh. So I do use condoms with this rash, though. And they were like, yeah, you fucking should. <laughs> you got a fucking Mad Max dick, dude. You got a post-apocalyptic rashed up dick. My dick's the undead, dude. It's a white walker. Oh. Ooh. So that's, that's all good news, dude. My... In the ongoing journey of my dong, dude, this is just another fucking hurdle. It's sick if your dick's a white walker. <laughs> like, after you fuck chicks, they open their eyes and they're blue. <laughs> <laughs> they just follow you everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> 
So that's been going pretty sick, dude. That's nice. Yeah, I was thinking though this whole time was uh, I usually don't like to point out sexism in comedy because uh-huh. usually I'm on the other side of this. But uh, here's an example of where it is. Because if this was women uh-huh. talking about how their vaginas are gross, yeah, this would be a truly unlistenable podcast. Oh, it definitely would be. If if I heard two chicks like, "I sound like pussy was all beat up," I'd be like, "Oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> my pussy has ringworm on it." I'd be like, "Oh my god, turn this off." Well, the, dude, the nurse was actually said something to me where she was like. I've had something similar happen, and for the Ugh. last like four days, I'm like, did she have pussy on like her thigh or a ringworm? Like, where was her ringworm? So it's kind of like Ugh. I've been kind of puzzling over that. But she was like, just keep putting the cream on. I was like, you got it. I was like, did the nurse have a dong, bro? <laughs> <laughs> the nurse might have had. She, she was, was probably stout, using, dude. She's probably using pussy wax. She might have been using she it. She probably dude. gave it a shot. She might have got it off before I launched it on the market. She probably got it like a... <laughs> <laughs> dude, I had some people asking about your tees. They got to get a hold of your t-shirts, dude. Oh, I know. I got to I gotta start getting them kicking, dude. Those I, 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 I got to check my website. I we do have to get merch. I could be fucking backlogged. We got to get a fucking... Just one shirt. Definitely. I could have sold merch a couple of times the last few. Yeah. I, I, I don't want to, but... You if should. I did sell merch, I would want it to be not me. I want to just be both tees and shit. Yeah, yeah I don't I want it you. to be like a bumper sticker with like, or like too deep in the pussy. Yo, it's like, dude, oh, I, yeah, dude, I hear you. I know, I know. I see people do that, and it's like, like you got an album, bro. I'm like, dude, I have ten minutes. Get out of here. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> I'm not dumb enough to record an album. Yeah, some guy like I. Where the fuck? Last time I worked at Punchline, the one guy was like, "I got to get you a beer koozie." It said like, "My wife's always right," and I was like, "Dude, you're so gay." <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I, dude, I don't know how. I don't know. I think that harkens back to being like dumb enough to just be like, oh, my wife's right. Here's a beer koozie. Guys like beer. I heard I was in Walmart last night buying white tees for uh for my bae. She needed like white tees for yeah. a job, and which they don't have female white tees. I had to get her boy tees, which is weird. But I heard that there's a couple, and the girl was like, "You always want to get out here so early," and he's like, "That's what guys do. We don't like to shop." And I'm like. Shut up, dude. You're clearly... You heard that on TV. Now you're yeah, yeah, to your yeah. fucking girl. I sold this on Two and a Half Men, babe. <laughs> yeah. I don't like shopping. <laughs> dude, it was so... I, like, turned around. I was like, God, they're... I so really fucking dumb. hate shopping. Clearly sending us here first. Yeah. Now, if they actually... Do, plus, dude, I think just, early on they were. Maybe, That's yeah. what it said when I looked it up. They were firing... That yeah, was, like, early... The first half of the war, it was disproportionate. Really? And then it, then they got, it evened Someone out. took a knee, dude. And they someone fucking, kneeled, and they were like, all right, this is wrong. Fucking, uh, I can't think of an old football player. I was going to name one. I almost said Bill Walton. I'm like, yeah, Jim Brown, dude. Jim Brown. Brown would be fired up. Yeah. He, was a, he, was a, he was a heavy who's the civil fucking, rights. Who's the dude with the buzz cut? Howie Mandel or something. What's his name? Howie Long? Howie Long, Howie yeah. Long probably hit a fucking knee, dude. It was like, well, that was his son, Chris Long. That would have been the first, guy. first white guy. Nice. I'm pretty certain. He just secured his fucking seat on the announcer's table yep. in 15 years. Oh, baby. Back when I was taking knees in the head. <laughs> I knew I had to do the right thing <laughs> to take a knee. I knew everyone was going to hate me for it. Yeah, right, dude. Yeah, everyone's no, yeah. going to jerk your dick off. Yeah. Everyone's going to jerk your white dick. He's probably got a long Johnson, too. He does. Dude. I was like, I, as soon as you said that, I'm like, his dick's probably fucking People were named, dude. That's where you get your last names. Long? That makes sense. Uh, his ancestors and him. True. All long dicks. Fuck. I think my mom thought Howie Long was hot. <laughs> I think I heard her say something Howie Long is someone that To picture him fucking your girlfriend Or anyone you love Especially your mom It's just horrible dude <laughs> Horrible to think about you that You ever have your mom say something like that Like not like He's hot Or just like He's handsome Ah yeah who Which is fuck? code for, Which is mom Ew, code dude. For like Damn I'd love to suck his dick suck Like he's, he's a great. handsome man I'm I've like, heard Whoa. my aunt definitely say that Take it easy Ew, dude, yeah, that's You're definitely weird. just talking about sucking that guy's dong. Oh, dude, especially like 70s style dong suck. Whew. No hands back then, Mad dude. pubes, no hands. <laughs> there was no respect for women sexually. The guys came in two minutes because they didn't have porn. It's like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was just every time you sucked a dong, it was like two weeks worth of cum at like 10 seconds. You'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got to watch the deuce, dude. All right. That's what it's all I about. I, I don't like when they do two of the same person. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. That usually pisses me off because that's all I think about when they're both on screen. Yeah, that's tough. They pulled obviously they pulled off well, but that is yeah. tough. I'm, I, I, the whole time I was like, dude, he's getting his nutty professor on. All I, that's yeah. all I think and about. And the facial expressions when the other one's talking—it's weird. Of, yeah, like seeing an actor. Did you see to the whole thing? Like, Did you see the whole thing? 
No, I didn't watch you, it. Real. Okay, that is something too. I, I was watching that, and I'm like, God, he's probably jerking himself. I was like, this is probably why he took this to be yeah. like, I'm too. Per- uh, so like, fucking- I watched. Uh, no, it's, it's good. It's the a good movie show. Legend was like that. It was too. Uh, what's his name? Bane. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Whoever the British guy. actor. Bane. Yeah, I just call him Bane. Fuck, <laughs> how do I not know his name? I love that guy. Tom. I, I, know, it's I, Tom. I have no idea. What the fuck, Tom Hardy. There oh, Tom Hardy, yeah, yeah. He played Bane? Yeah, he was Bane. No, oh, I thought it was just some like bald headed fucking English fat nah, guy. Dude, I was like, it's Bane. That's that's fucking Tom Hardy, what? dude. What? Yeah, he's I didn't jacked know that. as fuck in that. I just thought Bane was Bane. I thought he was just a one trick pony. No, dude. dude. What? You didn't know that was Tom Hardy? <laughs> I had no idea. I thought he was bald. I, th- I was like picturing some nah, British dude. when you said that I was picturing a British bald actor and was like, Yeah, I know Bane. That, that was, was the Nazi pilot from Dunkirk. Dude. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that was Bane, dude. He was flying around. He was like you like Jews. I can't even do it. I'm so, that's the one. That, I sound like Yoda. <laughs> Jews. <laughs> I just love America so fucking much. Yeah. That's. Uh... Oh, yeah. We got some Asian roommates upstairs, dude. They oh, moved in. Tap dancing, they bro? fucking fly up and down those steps, dude. Do they really? That's a new stereotype. Are they doing like a Asians hidden... fly down You think they're doing steps. that like crouching tiger hidden dragon shit where they're like running oh, upside yeah, down Oh, yeah. Definitely, dude. <laughs> First time I met them, they were, while they were moving in, they were fucking sprinting down the steps, and it was like it was like rattling the pictures on our wall. I had to go outside. I went outside. I was like, "Hey, what's up?" And they're clearly Drexer students. Uh, are they really? Yeah, they're Drexers. And uh, <laughs> Drexer dragons. I just I just keep picturing them floating. I just keep picturing them floating around their house, do, like jumping and doing. That's so like, funny, running like that. Holy and, uh, fuck! I walked outside and I was like. Hey, what's up? And they're like, hey, man, hey, we just moved in. They like tried to be friendly, and I was like, could you guys stop sprinting up and down the steps? <laughs> it's like it's literally shaking our fucking TV. What did they say? And they're like, oh, so y'all very... They probably started floating after that. Very honorable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he pulled out small daggers. The and one fucking... man, Harry carried him. Yeah, he fucking <laughs> killed himself right there. <laughs> Cut out his innards on the street. <laughs> He's like, oh, very disrespectful. <laughs> My first day of courage. <laughs> Already disrespect me. <laughs> his dad called. I could hear his dad on the phone. He was like, "You leave our house one day, and you are very disrespectful already." <laughs> to a white people, we are a white people. We need them. <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit! They are good for business. <laughs> <laughs> Make friends with a white man. <laughs> they buy also then. Oh, dude, you got some good Asian uh, news for us. What from everyday feminism? Oh man, dude, that fucking kill. Sorry, I, I need to take it. I need to take a knee after There's, that. Uh, fucking, we've I need to take a knee after that, dude. We've discussed this article or this website <gasps> before. It's Fuck. called everydayfeminism.com and it is it is an affront to God. It is. It is, <laughs> it is so it bad. Is the I promise it's the. It's basically. The opposite of a Nazi website. Like, it's on yeah, the it other end of the spectrum of just, like, pure fucking insanity. Just a wonder wonderland that these people live in. It is, they, they live in outer space, mentally. And uh, I had to stop looking at it. I couldn't handle it. It it gave me, like, migraines. <laughs> How fucking frustrating it was. Matt's, fuck Matt's a soldier in this army, in this war, and he I do like reading. I like reading the articles. He continues too. to read the articles, which I have no idea. I can how take him a little bit. I'm a, I'm like Jon Snow, dude. I'm a little bit of a White Walker, dude. So I can go in there and fucking withstand a little bit of their stuff. Then I'm like, oh god. Yeah, that's tough to fucking handle. So I like reading it. Well, first of all, this is written by. Um, uh, what the hell did this person say? The, it, like, three paragraphs in. This is the whole. Th- the whole article itself is Asian Americans. Ten warning signs that show you're siding with whiteness. Whiteness, baby. Yeah, which is a thing, but in like third paragraph down, like you could all these articles always have this. It's like as it turns out, many years later, I've realized that I'm trans, gender expansive, South Asian, and have lots of problems with cisgender white boys named Eric. It's like all right, right. Well, this isn't a real article anymore. Why this don't is... you read that again? Slow down and read that so Sorry. everyone gets every one of those fucking made up words. As it turns out, many years later, I've realized that I'm a transgender expansive South Asian and have lots of problems with cisgender white boys named Eric. Ooh. So this is I know a bunch of cisgender Eric's, dude. They're all fucking this Shout writer. out Eric Kenler. What up, Aggie? <laughs> what up, boo? You fuck the writer of this. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's like the article itself is absolutely hilarious. And there's one part of it where it's like 
it's literally it's Nazi propaganda or very so. The one thing is uh, okay. So here, right here, it's the number six is when we find comfort in whiteness. Which you, you better not. You better fucking not, dude. But the, they go on to say, "quote When we grow up with white people, <laughs> we love to lo- we learn to love and care for them. We see them. We see white people as fully emotional and complex human beings." This isn't wrong. In fact, it's great to be empathetic and understanding. Yeah, this isn't wrong. They actually are humans. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, to be fair, we've called it Asians like robots and Asians aliens are robots. Many times. If you read that article in an Asian voice, it's actually hilarious. It's like it turns out I'm a, a very transgender nature. I don't like a cyst. 